Don't somebody just lift your hands and love the Lord right now. I'll tell everybody what the Lord's laid on my heart to tell a few people in this house tonight. Mistakes only remain mistakes if we don't get up and learn from them. The Bible says, Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy, for when I fall, not I might fall, not if I fall, not on the happen chance that I do fall. It's not a license to sin and say we'll ask forgiveness tomorrow, but it says when I fall. The fall is going to happen, but I encourage somebody tonight. Tonight's your night to get up from that fall. Tonight's the night to quit wallowing in pity, to quit feeling sorry for yourself, to quit saying woe is me, and say tonight, devil, I'm getting back up. This is a new day. This is a new start. Ah, Lord, right now I lose the power of restoration into this church. I feel a boldness in the Holy Ghost right now. I want everybody to lift your hands all across this place right now. God, right now, by the authority of the power of the name of Jesus Christ, I loose the spirit of restoration right now. Restore peace into every home. Restore peace into every marriage. Restore joy into this church. Restore love and a peace for one another into this place. Let the power of your spirit fall in Jesus' name. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Why don't we worship the Lord all across this house right now? I'm going to tell you miracles have happened in this place. Ha. Huh. I'm going to tell you cancer is subject to the name of Jesus. I'm not scared to say cancer because God is greater than any cancer cell. Diabetes is subject to the name of Jesus. Every sickness, every disease, every pain, every ailment, every sin, every life is subject to the name of Jesus Christ. I proclaim, I speak, and I prophesy miracles have happened in this place tonight. Lives have been forever changed. And I'll go further. We need to bind together and agree that we will not go back. We will not take a step back because miracles are the new norm around this place. Brother Mark can tell if I get out of line, you just you just point your finger and tell me to sit down. But I'm going to flow in the Holy Ghost, and it's not in hopes that he has me back. But I'm going to tell you right now, the Bible says that the latter days, the last days, the latter rain is going to be the former and the latter rain together. What does that mean? That means we're going to see more miracles than they ever saw. Come on, somebody. That means every time we walk into the house of God, because we are apostolic, born again, turn talking believers of the Word of God, that miracles are to happen every time we walk in the door. There are to be a demonstration of the power and the glory of God just because we show up. I want to know if I got any believers in the house. Anybody still believe in miracles? Anybody still believe in signs and wonders? Well, let me clue you into what your Bible says. It says, these signs shall follow them that believe. Not only are we going to cast out devils in His name, but we're going to see cancer. I believe tonight we saw cancer cells healed up. I thank God for every doctor. I thank God for every nurse and every physician. But what they can't do, the great physician can do. And by his stripes, ye are healed. Brother Stan, I feel a reckless faith in this house tonight because the reality is I don't have to perform. I can't perform. It's not up to me to perform. But what I do know is if I don't hold, if I do hold back, and I don't speak it, then there's never an opportunity for faith to be in action. You read Hebrews chapter 11. 
By faith this, by faith that one, by faith this, by faith that, by faith, by faith, by faith. Now faith, it says in the very first verse of chapter 11 of Hebrews, now faith is the the evidence of things hoped for, the things not yet seen. Faith is the substance. There's got to be some substance in the house. What know ye not that your body, come on, is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Brother Mark can tell that literally means while this is a beautiful building, that's all this is. Brother Smith, this is nothing more than a beautiful building. It's wonderful. It's got great air conditioner. It's got good padded pews. Everybody say thank God for that. But the reality is, this isn't what occupies God. This isn't where God lives. But if He lives inside of you and I, everybody can see there's water in this bottle, right? I do drink a lot of water. I haven't finished this one yet. I'm fixing to get it and probably two or three more. I just like a lot of water. But in order for me to get anything out of this bottle of water, one, I gotta take the lid off, and then two, I gotta, the contents of the Holy Ghost are inside of you. If you want the contents to move, you want the contents to be stirred up, the container needs to be able to do some moving. The container needs to shake it up a little bit. He inhabits the praises of his people. It's why when the Ark of the Covenant was in Obed-Edom's house, it was never intended to go to Obed-Edom's house. But it showed up there by deep because David said he saw what the power of God could do and he got scared. And he said, oh, we're going to send this to Obed-Edom. And that at the time was the presence of God. That's where the presence of God resided was in that Ark. And for three months, the Bible says, the entire household of Obed-Edom was blessed because that's where the presence of God was. That's where the presence of God was housed. If we're going to be blessed, if we're going to see miracles, it's going to be because He is inhabiting this place and He only inhabits a place where praises go up. And when praises go up, the glory of God comes down. And when the glory of God comes down, demonstration takes place. Why don't you lift your voice and clap your hands right now? Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, come on, somebody. I hear an inhabitant's fixing to happen. There's somebody you're still wanting one more opportunity, one more chance. While this church is lifting their voice and clapping their hands and creating an atmosphere, I believe the supernatural power of God is fixing to demonstrate. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Williams, thank you for following the Holy Ghost tonight. I said, thank you for following the Holy Ghost tonight. Why don't we all lift our hands and let's just give Him the glory and the praise tonight that He's worthy of. Come on. All across this congregation, we're giving Him the praise. Hallelujah to God be the glory. Everything that's taking place, it's because of His glory. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. We magnify you tonight. We thank you for the work that you've done in this house tonight. We thank you for the lives that's been touched tonight. We thank you for the hearts that's been changed tonight. We thank you for the healings that's taken place tonight, God. We thank you for deliverance that's been taking place tonight. We thank you for miracles and signs and wonders that's happening tonight. We thank you for the way that you've taken the negative and you're turning it into something positive tonight, God. The negative things that the devil has spoke to us and the negative things that he's done to us. God, we thank you that you've changed it around for our good tonight, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you the thanks tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus.